obviously last week a tight loss at Capital City. Just what did you walk away from that game thinking? You know, uh, the the big thing about us is, you know, we t- got into this game and we want to play 48 minutes. We want to make sure we gave everything we had and, and finished the game out, give us our best effort. And we did that. So the effort was there. The physicality was there. We knew Cap City was going to be really physical. Um, they were they, they may be our be- the most physical team in our conference. And so we knew what we were going to get on that aspect of them. So we want to match or, or beat their physicality. And I think we did that, um, at least matching it for sure. Obviously, we can go back and watch film and kind of see some things. But our guys played 48 minutes, didn't give up. And so that's the one thing you look at is making sure we have those things. And it's a big jump from the week before where I thought we uh, didn't get everything for 48 minutes. And week two, to see that progression was really good. Yeah, going into the season, obviously taking over so late into the summer, just what was your initial kind of reactions to what you thought the beginning of the season was going to look like? Um, I will say uh, uh, I kind of knew a little bit what I was getting into with the fact of a lot of guys on this staff were here when I was here last two years ago. So knowing about 75, 80 percent of these guys really helped us uh, so to get an understanding of what they knew already and what I was walking into. Um, and then to see these guys the first couple of days realizing, OK, we got a little bit more than I actually thought. Um, some of you guys are, are really good players and really good young men. We just got to make sure you get in the right spot. So it's it's been it's been fast. Knowing that it was week three, week three already, but I think you know one thing is these guys are working hard. I think they've bought into what we're trying to do and, and change and build back at Battle High School. So I think that's been phenomenal to see right now. Having these first two weeks on the road, are you guys just itching to be at home this Friday? Yes, we are. I, I, I'm itching to not have to you know figure out a, a plan for our subs and figure out our plan for our buses and, and making sure hey we get to play it from our fans. Um, Battle High School special place. The environment that we have on Friday nights has always been phenomenal here. So being able to go out from the top, walk down that ramp, and hear that music playing is some things that kind of give you a little goosebumps and little chills. I remember the first time uh, I got back and I got here on a Sunday and able to walk out on the field and and get those memories back a little bit, understand kind of what we're doing, and it's going to be great to to play in a game where those, those fans, those stands are full and not just the away fans. What do you think are some of just the little things that you guys need to clean up to get over the hump of winning a three-point game instead of coming out on the losing end of it? You know, I think one thing is is fixing those mistakes. The little details are really not little. They're the big things. And so making sure we can do those and, and get ourselves in the right position to win a ball game. You know, we talked a lot about this week so far about finishing. We're there. We're at the party. You know, we just got to finish it. So whether that's a tackle here, a tackle there, a block here, a catch, a throw, whatever it is, just make sure we finish. You know, we had a run last week that we probably could have scored on that we just didn't finish. And it's paid to those little details to get us right. And, and, you know, not making so many of our own mistakes that allow them to make a play. You know, we got some plays that we've got a, a run or a, a run for three, four yards. If one guy makes that block or one guy makes it the right step, instead of being three or four yards, it's 10, 12, 15, you never know. And so really just making sure we, we're fixing our mistakes and not letting it happen again is a big thing for us. Looking at your competition this Friday, Helias starting out 2-0 and on the season. Obviously, Chris Hench has been there uh, for a long time now. Just what do you think about the program that he's built and the Helias team in general? You know, one thing you always know with Helias is they're always well coached. Uh, they have a great staff over there. Um, actually, some couple of those guys over there now used to be at Battle, so knowing those guys too. But, you know, him, Phil Pitts, they've all been there, and, and they do a great job with that program. One thing when you play Helias is they're not going to make many mistakes. You know, they're really not. So making sure when we play them, if they do make a mistake, hold them accountable before it, make a big playoff of that. So, but they're well coached, well positioned or well conditioned, sorry. And, you know, they know what they're doing. And so that's the big thing you always see when you play them. When you start out the season with losses, do you feel like it's just kind of a message in the locker room? Like, hey, we just got to get this first one and then we'll be up and rolling. You know, it, it kind of feels that way a couple of times. I, I think, uh, you know, a couple of conversations last couple of weeks have been we just need to get one and, and kind of get that pride and that sense of what battle is back. You know, to lose a game like we did, you know, that's tough because uh, because we, we also see the progression of being that close and being so so close to being able to make that difference and make get over that hump of getting that first win and trying to get some things to snowball after that. But that really is kind of the message, you know, keep fighting, got to finish the game. Once we get one, you know, big things can happen for us. In general, the team lost some strong leaders last season. Is there anybody in particular in this these first two weeks that have really surprised you and step up into bigger roles? 
Um, I, I will say one guy, but um, honestly, he hasn't surprised me, but Elijah Jackman. You know, when I was here last, he was a freshman. And so you already saw the characteristics of a leader in him. He was a freshman here. He understood his role, but he also was able to do what he needed to and speak up. The yes, sir, is the eye contact, the talking among his teammates. That hasn't changed, but see him grow into a man now and really have those leadership skills has been phenomenal. He is the outspoken leader of this team. He doesn't always talk, but when he does, it's something valuable. And he actually speaks louder than words for that young man, too. I think look at Chris Brown, a rising junior for us. You know, his leadership, his play. Alex Renan is a quarterback. Dequel, Dequel Wright, sorry, Dequel Wright, a receiver for us. You know, returning all-state player. So those four guys, especially, that's why they're our captains. You know, they step with that leadership role, get those guys to buy in and do the right thing. I think those are all the specific questions I have. Is there anything else you wanted to add in at all? You know, I don't think so. I think for us, it's just, you know, play our brand football, you know, play battle high school football. And that's the big thing for us trying to get this program back to where it needs to be in the, you know, those first eight years, we were pretty successful. So trying to get back to that after these last two.